right, algebra one, less than 100. Woohoo! We made it to 100. Okay, this one is on place value and rounding numbers. It should be pretty um, easy. This one should be should be review. So let's do a, a little bit of review, okay? Let's start with my decimal right here. Hopefully you know by now this is ones, tens, hundreds, and then you have another group. So this one's called the units group or the ones group. Ones, tens, hundreds, and then this one is thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. And because um, this comma that marks the thousand, this one is called the thousand group. So this one's called the units or the ones group, and this one's called the thousands group. Okay. And every time you're going from right to left, and you're going to go one tens, hundreds, and then this one's going to be thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand. And the next group is million, okay? And it goes million, again, 10 million, 100 million. So it goes, the name of the group, 10, 100. So 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Million, 10 million, 100 million. Billion, 10 billion, 100 billion, and so forth, okay? Now, that literally goes on and on and on and on and on forever, okay? Now let's do the right of the decimal. And this one does not group into threes, yet it still carries on the same kind of pattern. So instead of it being ones right here, this one actually starts with 10. And it's gonna end with THS on everything that comes after the decimal. Tenths. Now, tenths, the reason why this is, let's say I had 50 cents. Well, how many, if I had 50 cents, that would mean I had five dimes, which is tens. Okay, so that's how I remember, and it helps me to remember to start with tenths. Then this one's hundredths with the THS, thousandths with the THS at the end. So tenths, hundredths, thousandths, okay? That's how it keeps going. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths. So here we go, tens, hundredths, thousand. Ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, hundred thousandths, okay? So each time we just keep going. So tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, THS, ten millionths, hundred millionths, billionths, ten billionths, hundred billionths, trillionths, ten trillionths, hundred trillionths. And so forth. So make sure you're ending with the THS. And again, it follows the same pattern, except this way. All right, now let's talk about rounding numbers. All right, for example, let's take this number and they're wanting me to round it 47, 1, And they're wanting me to round this to the nearest 10. 10,000. Now, it did not end in THS, therefore I know I'm going to be going to the left of the decimal. And they're wanting me to round to the nearest 10,000. So, this is going to be ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. So I know it's in this group because it ended in thousand. And it's 10,000. Okay? Now, that's what they're wanting me to round it to. So once you figure out which one they're wanting you to round it to, underline it big time and then put a line kind of to the uh, right of it in between that number, okay? And when they're wanting you to round to that one, basically what you're gonna do is look to the right, and if it is five or higher, this number is gonna go up one. If it is four or lower, that number stays the same, and everything else becomes a zero, okay? So, because this is five or higher, this five changes to six. I'm just gonna bring everything else down. 47,206. And then everything past the squiggly line becomes a zero. Now you can go in and put zero, 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 but that means the same thing. Okay? So you only want to, um, once your uh, rounding is to stop right after this and everything else becomes zero. All right, let's look at another one. Okay? They're wanting you to round 104. 0 0.06245327. All right, and they're wanting me to round this to the nearest 
thousandth. So, I know it's on the right side of the decimal, so tenths, hundredths, thousandth. Okay, so we're wanting to stop after this one. Okay, so I'm going to look to the right. Is it five or higher? No. So this stays the same, but everything else becomes zero after that. And so then I just bring everything else down. And that's my final answer right there. And you can even erase these zeros because they're ending zeros and you don't need them. Okay? All right, let's look at another one. This one's a little bit harder. 0 0.00041. Three seven eight five four six. Now this one tells me to round to the nearest one hundred one hundred millionth. Okay, so here we go. I know that it's a th so it's gonna be on the right. So tenths, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousand, hundred thousandth, millionth, ten millionth, hundred millionth. 100 million. This is where I want to stop. Okay? Look to the right. Is it 5 or higher? Yes. So this moves up to 9. Everything else becomes zeros behind it. And then you just bring everything else down. And that's the final answer. That's how that works. Okay? Two more, and then we're done. I lost my eraser. Okay. Next one says. Round 2.003, And they're wanting me to round it five decimal places. So that means five places after the decimal. One, two, three, four, five. So that's where they're wanting me to round to. Look to the right. Is it five or higher? Yes. This changes to seven. Everything else behind it become zeros and bring everything else down. Hopefully that's all making sense. All right, and this last one, really pay attention to because they tell me to round this. 314.0364. Now, they're gonna put a line over this 364 and that's important because what that means is this keeps repeating 364, 364, 364, 364. So, because we're going to have to round quite a bit after, I'm going to go on and write 364, 364, 364, because that's what that means. All right? Now, the first one tells me to round at five decimal places. So, A's answer is five decimal places. One, two, three, four, five. So, we look to the right. Yes, it is bigger, five or bigger. So, this changes to four. And then I just bring, I put zeros for everything else. Remember, these are um, ending zeros, so it didn't matter. And then I just bring everything else down. So that's A's answer. Let's do B's answer. B is to do nine decimal places. Okay. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to stop there. We look to the right. Is it five or higher? No. So, I'm going to move this one. So, this stays the same. You basically bring everything else down because it's nine places after. And then these just become zeros or you don't even have to put anything. That's B. Okay? Now, C is to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay? TH, hundredth. So, tenth, hundredth. Okay, tenth, hundredth. I'm going to look to the right. Yes, it is five or higher, so this changes to four. Everything else after it becomes zeros. And then I just bring everything else down. Okay? And then last one. Oh, nuts, I already said that whole thing. Okay, so it basically tells me, I'm just going to put a few. All right, it tells me uh, to round to the nearest ten. So this is one ten. So right here is what they're wanting me around it to. So I look to the right, and it is not five or higher, so that stays the same, and that becomes zero, and everything else becomes zero. So final answer is 310. That is less than 100.